Good morning, everyone, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second annual UAE Security Forum, Defense Industry and Economic Diversification. I would like to thank His Excellency, the Minister of Economy, Sultan al-Mansouri, for his patronage of this conference. My warm congratulations as well to all our Emirati colleagues and the UAE's leadership on the 46th National Day celebration of the United Arab Emirates. On behalf of the Arab Gulf States Institute's staff and board of directors, I would like to express our gratitude to Dr. Thomas Kennedy and Raytheon, our sponsors, for supporting the forum for the second time. Without their partnership, we could not have organized this event. A warm welcome as well to all our speakers and moderators who will be keeping us busy throughout the day as we explore and discuss the role and contribution of the defense and security sector in broadening the economic diversification effort in the UAE and other GCC countries. We're honored and pleased to have His Excellency Stephen Hadley as our keynote speaker over the lunch session as he is arriving late this morning, that's why he's not here, but he will be joining us for the keynote at, over lunch. The UAE recently launched the Centennial 2071, inspired by the vision of His Highness Sheikh Zayed, Sheikh, sorry, excuse me, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The goal of the UAE Centennial 2071 is to make the UAE the best country in the world, marking the 100th anniversary of the founding of the UAE. The Centennial addresses many of the country's national priorities with a special focus on the role of advanced sciences in achieving those goals. One of the strategies that I read about in this document is that the UAE is looking to the scientific community to develop initiatives that will directly lead to establishing Emirati companies and industries to allow the UAE to reach its vision of the future. I hope today's event in a small way will contribute towards addressing some of these very ambitious goals. The forum will seek to explore best practices and make recommendations on how best to promote the broader goal of economic diversification and the more specific task of developing national defense and security industries. The sessions will cover key topics of economic integration to build regional security, partnering with the private sector to achieve growth and innovation, and the role that the U.S. industry can play to assist in the region's economic diversification effort. Last year's focus, as some of you will remember, focused, last year's forum, excuse me, focused on cybersecurity. And I know many of you attended the event and received the published conference report. This year's focus on economic diversification was deemed by many people we spoke to in the region as really one of the top priorities facing not only the UAE, but most of the GCC countries. Therefore, we decided to bring together the group that you will meet throughout the day of experts, business leaders, to identify those promising opportunities for private sector growth and innovation with a special attention to the defense and security sector. As we see in many countries, including the United States, the defense sector is a significant force as an engine of economic growth, technological advancement, and in providing skilled job opportunities for the growing youth population. I look forward to today's deliberations as we explore the challenges as well as the opportunities for success in the UAE and other GCC countries seeking to expand the role of the defense sector in economic diversification. I look forward to the discussions and I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining us and encourage you to participate as we go through each session with your questions and comments. Thank you very much.
Well, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Tom Kennedy, the uh, CEO and Chairman of the Raytheon Corporation. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I want to thank Ambassador Marcel Waba uh, for uh, her uh, great work here in her organization in pulling this together. We couldn't have asked for a better partner for this uh, great security forum than you and your team. You've led at the uh, Arab Gulf State Institute in Washington. Uh, last Thursday, marked the third Martyrs Day, followed by the 46th National Day this past weekend. This is definitely an exciting time for the United Arab Emirates. Exciting because there is energy and a sense of what's possible here in the UAE, and you don't find anywhere else. Each time I travel here, the Emirates' commitment to its visionary progress is found in something new and incredible to see and experience. Bottom line, people want to be here, and the UAE is attracting new ideas, innovation, and talent from around the world. However, this is not a time without its challenges. That's because the world is clearly changing. There is a dynamic environment that is increasing threats to world peace. There is geopolitical change that is affecting international relationships and alliances. There is technological change that is disrupting and transforming industries and our way of life. And digital transformation driving the need for cybersecurity. Today's security forum could not be more timely for all of these reasons. The leadership of the UAE recognizes these challenges and is showing bold initiatives to shape the future. It is embracing change and taking advantage of it. It is setting visionary goals for a better tomorrow. It is driving toward a diversified, knowledge-based economy. The defense industry has an important role to play in the Emirates' future to support economic diversification and to help provide national security for these challenging times. The industry has been providing solutions to help secure the Emirates' civil and defense infrastructure for decades. In the case of my company, Raytheon, we are celebrating, this is important to us, we are celebrating 30 years of partnership with the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> now this started off as a relationship to provide air and missile defense capability to the Emirates, but I can tell you, over the decades, it has grown and blossomed. We are not only providing solutions for well-equipped military, our systems help protect civilian and defense infrastructure. We've grown local defense manufacturing with our business partners in the Emirates, and we also support economic development through jobs and partnering with academia, local business, and joint ventures. We are also partnering in the area of cybersecurity, one of the themes of this conference. With the acceleration of the global digital transformation and the fact that everything is connected, I, obviously, I absolutely believe that cyber risk is one of the most critical threats facing our economy, businesses, and government today. Every time I attend a dinner, I have executives from other companies come up and talk to me, concerned about the cybersecurity threat. I have directors of boards of major corporations around the world contacting me and asking me, what should we be doing about this cybersecurity threat? Folks are definitely concerned. Everyone is facing it. But what they don't realize, what they don't realize is they are just seeing the tip, the tip of the cybersecurity threat relative to their IT systems. And below that tip of the iceberg, by the way, just remember, the Titanic wasn't sunk by the tip of the iceberg. Below the tip of that iceberg is a lot of the issues that we will be dealing with in the future. The fact that we're trying to have autonomous vehicles, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle autonomy working together, the cyber threats just on that, smart cities, and the cybersecurity threat against smart cities, the cybersecurity threat against our infrastructure, desalination plants, power plants, and everything we do. That is the, uh, below the tip of the iceberg. Because lives depend on virtually every product that the defense industry provides, 
we know how to do cybersecurity. As a defense company, we've been under attack for over two decades, over 20 years. To counter that attack, we've had to invest in technologies and cybersecurity over those years. And in fact, over those years, we wound up buying 15 technology companies in the area of cybersecurity. First of all, just to protect ourselves, also then to protect our customers' data, and also to protect our customers. So we can really help other industries, since from our vantage point, the commercial sector, for one, is underprepared for the cybersecurity threat. And first of all, when you consider that the commercial industries really cover 85% of the networks and the internet infrastructure are in their hands, you see the vital need for them to have defense-grade cybersecurity capabilities. And cybersecurity will be a key foundation of this knowledge-based economy moving forward. So let me close by saying that uh, I, for one, am very excited about the future of the United Arab Emirates. Again, as I mentioned before, Raytheon has been a very strong partner to the Emirates for over 30 years, and we are looking forward to the next 30 years and supporting the UAE's economic development potential. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today, and I wish you the best for a great and very productive forum. Uh, so thank you very much. Shakran. <laughs>